Okay, my people, what's up, man? I decided to make a regular video. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you have something to do, go do it. I'd rather you live your life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, cheers to everybody that smokes blunts and cheers to everybody that um, drinks beer. Let me tell you something. I had a very shitty day. Like, this is the only day that I ever had in my whole entire life that almost everything went bad. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't get killed. That's how bad it was. It started since soon as I woke up. The problem started. But you know what I'm saying? Light bulbs blowing out. That, that light bulb just blew out. I left the room and the light bulb blew out. Even that, that's how bad it is today. That was the last thing that, that went bad. Everything else went terrible, son. But you know what I'm saying? So I said, you know something? I'm going to make a video for my followers. And I'm going to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because there's one thing that's good right here in this situation is that I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? That's what counts. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, it has me stressed out. Don't get me wrong. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a human being just like everybody else. I go through stress just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So, so, um. The only thing good I got today, the only thing good, I did get something good today. And it was an iPhone 6. iPhone 6. Yeah, they gave it to me. I was like, shit, I'll take it. I say, I, I'm collecting them. I'm collecting. I got like like five, five iPhones already. Not counting that one. I got about five or six of them. And I'm trying to collect them. You know, get one. I, I got iPhone 1. iPhone 4. I need to get the 4S. I got the 5, I got the 5S, I got the 6 now, and I got the XR. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 line them shits up right there. Collect them shits. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Okay, we're gonna start with Javante Davis. We're gonna go on a fly. We're gonna go on a fly. Everybody loves when I do the videos like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, these people coming in here with Javante Davis with that roly shit. Listen to me. First of all, y'all came in and said that fight would never happen. So how do you feel now? Because that fight was ordered. I gotta keep repeating myself like a broken record. I keep telling y'all, Javante Davis better knock out Roly. He does not knock out Roly. Roly's gonna knock him out. And remember, I told you that. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a this is a fight that is guaranteed knockout. Somebody's getting stopped in this fight. That's how high it is. Like you know what I'm saying? People coming in here. Oh, Javante Davis is knocking knocking down 147 pounders. That's in sparring. He's doing that in sparring. Okay, it's, get your information correct. He's only stopping 140 pounders, not 147. And real fights. Barrios, that was at 140. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't at 147. Well, guess what? Roby fought a guy that came in overweight. He came in overweight. He was actually 147 when he fought Roby in that ring. And Roby knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? You ain't see Javante Davis knock out a 147 pounder. You only see him knock him down. You know what I'm saying? And this is fact. We're going to go on paper with everything I'm going to throw at y'all. Everything I'm going to throw. Every name I throw in here. Is, I'm going to fucking. I'm going to go on paper on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all making it look like Javante Davis is this unbeatable force. Like he could beat everybody. I don't think so. Fucking ducking people. Fucking ducking people left and right. Y'all be talking about Roly ducking people. Well, he ain't duck Javante Davis. He's he's fighting him. Like you know what I'm saying? He he said he Roly was like this. Hmm. Devin Haney, he's a paper champion. I ain't fucking with him, and I don't blame him because if he beats Devin Haney, he beat a, a fighter that the title was given to him. So it's not really a good win, to tell you the truth, to people that actually know boxing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And this goes to everybody throughout the whole entire world that knows boxing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it was like this. 
Ryan is going to duck me. He said, I'm going to go after Javante Davis. He's under Mayweather. I'm under Mayweather. We can make that fight. And, and sure enough, believe it or not, Floyd Mayweather wasn't trying to set up that fight with him and him and Javante Davis because it, it, they under him. They under him. They came and cut their throats. They, they cut Javante Davis' throat. Threw him under the bus. They said, you fighting Rody. They ordered that shit. Great people say, oh, if the fight happened. That fight is happening. Get it through your dimensional head. Like, you know what I'm saying? Delusional head. That's what I meant to say. Delusional. They're fighting. The fight is set. I'm saying, unless Javante Davis pull out that COVID-19 card at the last minute, that's the only way he's getting around that shit. Well, guess what? They're going to postpone it until he gets better, and then they're going to put the fight again. So either way, he's going to fight Rowley. You know what I'm saying? And either way, one of them is going to lose their record. One of them is going to get a loss on that record, and they're going to get a KO. One of them is going to get KO. Now, I'm letting you know right now, Javante Davis cannot hurt Roley on the first round. In the first round, Roley's going to know how hard he really hits. He's going to find out how hard he hits, right? If really, if Roley could take his power, Roley's going to start walking him down. Remember I told you that. It's going to start walking him down. It's going to start chopping into him. You know what I'm saying? Remember, he couldn't knock out Gamboa. He couldn't knock out Gamboa. He couldn't knock out Berrios. He stopped him. It was a stoppage in both. It was a stoppage. Didn't knock him out. So y'all need to stop that, bro. It's going to get in front of a fighter that could take his power. And he's going to be in trouble. Remember, he's 5'5". Five, five. Body punching. Jaw shots. Head shots. Everything is going to hurt when Roley hits him. Everything is going to hurt. Compared to Javante Davis doing damage to him. Y'all always come in here, uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz will get knocked out by Roley. Roley will knock out. I will take Roley by knockout in that fight, and I will be right. Santa, Santa Cruz doesn't have power. He doesn't have power. That He's going to be already in trouble right there. You know what I'm saying? Barrios will get knocked out by fucking Roley, too. Roley will knock him out. Barrios is green light. He doesn't fight. I think he fights good. Just to try to make Javante Davis better. It doesn't work that way. You cannot use other fighters to make your fighter better. It's what he does in that ring. And that's it. It ain't what you're doing or you what you're commenting. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not it's not true. What you're commenting is not true. You're gonna see when they get in that ring. I'm telling you, he doesn't hurt Voli. Voli's gonna stop him. Roley's gonna stop him, and I know, I know they threw the, I, they threw Javante Davis under the bus in that situation there. You know what I'm saying? Roley, Roley was calling him out, and Javante Davis was like, they took out the, they took out the regular titles. He was in trouble right there. As soon as they took out the regular titles, and he vacated that 130 title, Javante Davis, he's not even a champion right now. Roley's not even a champion either. I don't even know if they're going to create a title for that fight. You know what I'm saying? Understand that. That's right. You heard me. Javante Davis is not a champion right now. They took out those regular belts. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop it. Calm it down. Wait till he beats Roley, and then you could talk fly shit. You know what I'm saying? Understand that. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. We're going to move on. So, as you know, we got Canelo coming up. The Colin Plant fight. I'm over here like this. I'm over here like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just waiting to see that fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going I'm to I'm be right there enjoying the whole fight. I'm going to be enjoying the whole fight. Seeing Canelo break fucking Colin Plant apart. Canelo's going to beat him up bad out of all of them. Out of any of them, I, I believe Conan Plant's gonna catch it worse because he's gonna try to he's gonna try to be faster than Canelo. He's not gonna be able to do that. That's the problem. Canelo doesn't belong in that weight class. <laughs> he's five eight and he's beating up fucking one seventy five pounders. Five eight, 
beating up fucking 175 pounders, bro. That's that's why we already know the reason, but he's beating them up. Like they're in that big. 6'3. 6'3. 6'1. 6'2. Um Colin Plants, like five feet, five eleven. Right? Um five eleven, about five eleven. He's gonna chop them worse. The smaller they get, the worse the beating is gonna be. I understand that shit. Are you know It's gonna take his jab from him, and then he's gonna start body punching the shit out of him. <laughs> like you know he's gonna make Colin Plant look like he just started fighting. It's gonna make him look just like he did with Billy. What he did to Billy he made Billy look like an amateur, bro. He outclassed the shit out of him in that fight. Like you know what I'm saying? He fought him. He fought him with precision. Like everything he wanted to do, he did it. Like then he imposed his will on Billy Joe Sanders too. He imposed his will on him. Remember, Billy Joe, um, Billy Joe, was fighting in his back foot the whole entire fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's gonna smash punt. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna be here going, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be like, ooh, ooh. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, um, and I, I'm just like, I'm just like, shit. So, you know, so, um, so, okay, so we go to the, we're going to the next thing now. Tyson Fury, Alexander. That's what we need to be talking about. All of us in these boxing channels. People ain't talking about that shit. Why is that? Why, why nobody, no, why no boxing channel saying Tyson Fury is going to smash out Alexander? I haven't seen that one boxing channel saying anything like that. Why is that? Because it's not Dante no more. It's not. It's not Anthony Joshua no more. They both lost, so they out of the sight. They out of the fight. But Tyson Fury still wants to fight Anthony Joshua. Doesn't want to fight Alexander. Why is that? Why is that? that's my question? I'm asking y'all. Why he's not saying I fight? I want to fight Alexander. I want to beat him up or whatever the hell. You know what I'm saying? It's not doing that. Realize that shit. <laughs> Alexander's going to beat the shit out of Tyson Fury. Remember I told you that. You know what I'm saying? Remember, he's not Dante Wilder. He's not Anthony Joshua. He's he's intact. He could take power too. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Like, you know, Dante's out of the way now. Dante's out of the way. Now it's just Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? I just can't wait. Until his mandatory hits, until the mandatory hits, and, and, and Alexander activates it. And I want to see what Tyson Fury is going to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm waiting for. That's all I'm waiting for. Just going to wait and see what he's going to do. Is he going to fight him or is he going to vacate? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, believe me, Tyson Fury is like, damn, he could fight. I know he's saying that to himself. He's like, this is a good fighter. He ain't stupid. He, he fought like almost 30 times. He should know. Should know what fighters are good and what fighters are not. That's how they match each other up. You got to realize that. That's how they match each other up. Oh, I could beat him. Let's set that fight. That's how they do it when they matching it up. I could do this. I could do this. He can't do this. He can't do that. I could do this. He can't do that. And then they do the fight. Unless it was ordered. Or a mandatory. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like bugging out with y'all people, but y'all come in here, y'all always believe that you know what you're talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really got it in your mind. Like, like if a person knew boxing for like a year, you know what I'm saying? They actually gonna believe they know more than anybody else. That's my point here. Right? Right? You buy your first car. You already know more than everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you think you're doing better and you know... I don't think so, bro. You better get out of that dream world. It doesn't run that way. You gotta wake up out of that fucking... Um, fucking, um... How you call that shit? Reality show. Let's just call it like that. Like if anybody understand reality shows, like don't shit just made up, plastic, counterfeit, like you know. 
six. I'm like, I'm like, shoot me. <laughs> the guys came in here um, I, um yesterday. They they just came in. Subscribers just came in new. Came in here. I chopped them up. They fucking left. They they left. They got pissed off. I'm like, gonna understand that. Eventually, you will run out out of things to say about that fighter. And if he's a one-time champion, you're gonna fucking completely run out real fast in the first try. You're gonna run out out of things in the first try. Like I said, I'm a fucking chop you in those comments. Make sure you don't come back. You know what I'm saying? They're debating. I'm very, very good with debating. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. So that shit is funny. I said it's funny how all y'all people act and the way and the way y'all do y'all things and how y'all criticize my channel. But my channel is beating the shit out of this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who's supposed to fight this week? Who's supposed to fight this week? We're gonna find out real. Look, I'm gonna show y'all how good I am. Okay, we're gonna see because I did all the fight predictions. So we're gonna see who's who's next. Okay, okay, who's here? Okay, Emmanuel versus Gonzalez. I'm taking Emmanuel, and I'm guaranteeing Emmanuel is winning this fight. And I'm claiming that win right now. I'm claiming that win right now. 143 wins with 21 losses. Understand how my channel wins. You're gonna see I'm gonna end up being right. Y'all gonna be like, oh shit. I've been right a lot in this channel. When I get when, when I when I claim the wins, I, I'm unbeaten and claiming wins. I won every single one of them shit. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my channel's really good. You know say if you if you go through all my videos, go all the way to the start. Like if you got time, because it's like about 400, 500 videos. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. So I say you you go in there and look through all there and see the fighters I picked and the and the, the fights I won and the and the fights I lost. You will be fucking shocked how much I won. You will be like, wow, this dude did really good. You know what I'm saying? And this channel's only been up eight months. Eight months has been up. Like you know what I'm saying? Eight months up and I and I'm doing phenomenal numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. Come on, man. Like, you're that guy, like, when y'all come in here, oh, you don't know nothing about boxing. But yet, I have 141 wins with 21 losses. Put it like this. Put it like this, right? Let's just say you bet it on those 21 losses, right? Like, let's just say the, let's just say the whole 143 fights was up. Like, you know, in one day. It was, it's 143 fights in one day. Right? I You could bet on every single one of them, right? You could bet on every single one of those fights, right? And we're going to say I, I lost the first 21 fights. You could say we lost the first 21 fights. And you're still betting with me. And then you get 143 wins. If you kept betting. 143 wins with 21 losses. I done flipped that 21 five times. Five times I flipped that 21. Ever anybody understand what I'm talking about? That that those losses. Like crazy, my channel is beating the shit out of this shit. But it's doing it quietly. Yeah, it's camouflaged. Nobody don't see my my good how good I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Remember, I only lost one super fight. And there was more than one super fight this year. Like, you know what I'm saying? I only lost one. And that was the with Brockers. With Brockers, when she fought, um, damn, I keep Michelle. When she fought, um, is it Michelle? Anyway, when she fought her, that I lost that. Because I, I was like, you know, because I was, um, I know Brockers really good. I, I watched her career. I'm saying so, you know, so I was like, nah, man, this, this I'm, I'm, I'm taking Brockers to win. You know what I'm saying? And, and she lost. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's what gave me my loss. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, my channel's good, bro. My channel's good, man. I win the majority of the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's good. 
My, my channel's running at 98%. I'm winning at 98% every month, winning at 98% since I started the channel. There's no boxing channel winning like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? 98, 98. That means I'm only losing one or two fights a month. I'm only losing the most two. I'm not, I'm not losing three in a row. I'm not losing four in a row. I'm not losing... Nope. If anybody understand what I'm talking about. Like last week. Last week, I won three and lost two. You know what I'm saying? One of the fights was canceled. Um, another fight was canceled. That was with Elvis Rodriguez. It, it was up, and I did the fight prediction, and then... When the fight happened, and, you know, and I checked, it, the, the fight was gone out of the out of the list. You know so they didn't say anything about that fight. So I'm thinking it was like a typo. It was a typo and shit. You know so, but I, technically, I was supposed to have won four and lost two. And I said that before the fight happened. Before it happened, I said I was going to lose two, the worst. The most, I'm going to lose two. And I'm going to win four. But, but that fight got taken out. So I won three. And lost two. Still, still one out. You know what I'm saying? I win all. I win a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, I'm like, bring it. I'm like, bring it. Like you know what I'm saying, people? Like you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna be fucking just. I'm gonna show my talent. I'm gonna show my talent to the world. Remember, y'all people that are following me are the only ones that's witnessing this shit. The ones that are following me are the only ones that's witnessing me winning all this shit like this. Understand that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Tesh and Fury fight, that's, that was a one title fight. I could lose those all day. You know what I'm saying? My channel is two title fights, three title fights, four and five title fights. That's oh Jessica. When brackets for Jessica. Jessica, her name is Jessica. I gotta remember. I don't know. I always get I always forget her name. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm saying so Jessica, when brackets for Jessica. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Let's, let's move on. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. I'm proud of myself. And I say all the all the time watching boxing, fighting myself on this in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot. I'm saying I could actually, I could actually look at two fighters and I'll tell you who 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 will win and I'll tell you who when like if it's gonna be a knockout I could even call the almost the round almost close to the round where they almost get knocked out. I'm saying I haven't perfected that yet. Like if anybody understand like like I say call around I'm like he's getting knocked out in a third round and then it happens. And then I I go to I do it in another fight and I do it like I'm, I do it like in ten fights in a row and I'm picking rounds picking rounds. My channel will be on fire. My channel will be on fire right there. Nuclear fire. You know what's that? You know how much... And this channel here, I want a lot of people money, bro. Even though I be telling them not to bet on my shit. But I know they betting on my shit. Because I'm winning. Like, you know what I'm saying? Remember, when you lose, when you lose on the betting, and you're doing odds and all that, that's you. You fucking that up. If you, if you bet straight, you're going to win. You're going to win. Understand that. That's my point here. Let's just say I did. I do ten fight predictions, and you bet on all ten, and you bet to win. The most I'm gonna lose is two fights. The most I'm gonna lose is two. I will win eight. Now you see what I'm trying. You see what I'm talking about? Like, like, like the um, what it was last month? I think it was last month. I had nineteen fights. I had nineteen. Fights in one day, fight predictions. I won 17 of them and lost only two. Now, y'all understand now? My numbers is spectacular, but y'all don't see it. Because you're not keeping count. I'm counting all my wins, I'm counting everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, now, like, I'm, this channel is running way better than my last channel. I say, don't get me wrong, my last channel, I had. I had ridiculous wins in there because I had that channel I had that channel for almost three years I had it for almost three years and I destroyed that shit because there was too many mistakes made in that channel you know what I'm saying so I said you know something the channel was free too it was a free channel so I said you know something 
I'm gonna start a new channel. Like, you know what I'm saying? I destroyed it. People thought that somebody flagged me and destroyed the channel. I was like, I don't think so. I know how to win flags. You know I'm saying so, you know. Not too long ago, I had YouTube reinstate me because they. It, that's why I couldn't load no videos. I, I wasn't loading up for a while. And it was because of YouTube. They said you can't load up videos, and I'm like, I, I, I fought it under their rules. You got to do it in their terminology rules. And for anybody in the the way they word it, their way, that's the only way you could beat them. If anybody understand what I'm talking about, like, 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 um, like in civil, like in um court, when you go in court and you see how the how the uh, lawyers and the DA go back and forth and they saying names and they going like that and in this section, this section, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's no different from that. You get what I'm saying? They all have each of those things has a name. So you know, so I do everything by the numbers. And the numbers work. The numbers are working. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so let's see. Let's see how far I go. Let's see how far we go. Because we don't even know what's going to go, what's going to happen in here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, we, we got to see what's, we got to see what's up. Okay, hold on, man. Let's go to the boxing ranking because I have to see, I have to see what's going on there. Because it's supposed to be updated and, um, from the, um, from the, uh, from the, um, okay, hold on. Let me make sure I get the right one. Okay, all right, this is good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want to see the landscape. And you're going to say, remember, I promote every one of these fighters at all the, all the, all the weight classes, all the way, to, all the way to the bottom. I, I, I'm going let's, let's scroll down. Okay, I'm all the way. I do. I do. I do it all the way to 105 pounds. I have fighters from there in my channel. Like you know, what I'm saying promoting them. You know, what I'm saying you know all the weight classes. I promote fighters in my channel throughout the whole entire world. Global. My channel's global. You know what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying. So you know. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna see the landscape and we're gonna see what's up. Like you know what I'm saying. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Uh. The Okay, now let's go to the heavyweight division. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna start from up there. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole list. We're just gonna do some of the fighters. Mention them so like that they could get promoted on my video with people that's watching. Okay, all right. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, oh shit. Daniel Dewey is, is, is gonna be, is ranked number one for the WBA title. Alexander's gonna be Dewey is. I'm sorry. I see Alexander chopping him. Like you know what I'm saying? For, for, with Alexander in front of him, Alexander's going to be too fast. It's going to be way faster than him in that fight. And that's, I believe that's going to be the Achilles of it. That's what I believe is it's going to have like a really, a, a real good effect. And you know what I'm saying? So I see, you see, Daniel Dubia is getting stopped in that fight. The only thing Yusik has to do is body punch him. Body punch him. And he'll tie it right out real fast. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. So I, I, he's done. Michael Hunter, I, didn't, I think Alexander beat him up already. Michael Hunter. Okay. I have to check that out. I'm saying so. Um, okay, so let's see this again. Okay, Dante Wilder should go down. He's going to go down in rank because he lost. So they didn't update, they didn't update that. But he did mention fighting um, um, Andy Ruiz in this next fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? So let's see if that happens. I, I will I will see that fight and I will do the fight prediction too. I'm saying so. Okay, all right. We got Joe Joyce ranked number three. Joe Joyce, Joe Joyce and Luis Ortiz. That would be a good fight. What do y'all think? Now I believe that'll be a good fight. <laughs> believe it or not, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they, I think somebody's getting knocked out in that one. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so okay. uh so if he had job by, y'all already know what happened to him. You see, Tony Yoka, Frank Sanchez. You know see, they this this a pretty good line of fighters in this on this one. You see, okay, Joe Joyce is ranked number two. I want to see Joe Joyce with Alexander again, but at heavyweight. Like you know what I'm saying? Did that first the first fight with them? That that fight was fantastic. Those they those boys, 
they threw so many punches in that fight at Cruiserweight Junior was very shocking. Like, it was like, how the fuck they did that shit? They just kept going and going and going and, and throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing punches. They weren't really taking any breaks. They was just, they fought the whole entire fight going at each other. It was a very good fight. So I know in the heavyweight division, it's going to be a little bit different because they're going to be both heavier. You know what I'm saying? But I believe Yusik will be the faster fighter. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to hit harder. You know what I'm saying? So he heard him. He heard, he heard um, Joyce at Cruiserweight. He heard him a couple of times in the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. And um, uh, Joe Joyce did sting Alexander a couple of times. But the stinging, you couldn't really see it. You know what I'm saying? The only way you can see the stinging is you take the fight and you put it in slow motion. You put it in really slow motion and you see when he gets hit and you look at the eyes. You look at the eyes and you see. If he goes like this, like his eyes roll back and he goes like, that means he got hit hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I was like, shit is crazy, man. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, oh yeah, the Cruiserweight Junior. Yo, this fight did be, um, they 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 activated the um the bridge rate bridge rate um you know what I'm saying 224 so 224 that's not bad 224 pounds you know what I'm saying so you know bridge rate could you believe Dante Wilder could fight at bridge weight he 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 he, he, he was 212 pounds in the first Tyson Fury fight like, a lot of people overlooked that shit believe it or not I'm, I'm like. Like, I, I was like, nah. I was like, Dante is on something. I was like, he was taking something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because 212 pounds, six, seven. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, physically shaped. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he he fought really good in that fight. Like, can remember he put he put Tyson Fury two times on the floor in that fight. Tyson Fury didn't do didn't knock him down. You know what I'm saying? If I could remember, you know what I'm saying? He didn't knock him down in that fight. Dante Wilder did the knocking down. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But those fights were good. All three of the fights was good. I like the last one. The last fight, it was a really good fight. You know, those two, those two went at each other, bro. Like, you made me wait a whole year. <laughs> you didn't take the step aside money. <laughs> Because remember, they were trying to set up a Tyson Fury with um, Anthony Joshua fight. And, and try to like push Dante Wilder to the side. And then Dante, Dante Wilder took him to court. And then he won the arbitration. And he won that shit. So, you know, they, I, I like... When they say he won, I was like, oh man. This fight's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You know, And it did. It happened. It, it gave us the expectations that it was supposed to give us. But it was better. It was better. You know what I'm saying? They started, they started teeing off. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I was, I was in my, I was in here, I was jumping up and down. I was, I was cheering both of them on. I was cheering both of them in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. The boxing skills, you know, you know, and stuff like that. Like you know, how they moving around, six nine, jumping around, jumping around. Like you know what I'm saying? Like six nine. I never thought in my life I would ever see. Two heavyweights, six seven, six nine, in a fight fighting like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because does anybody know the heavyweights back in the days? They were fucking garbage. They were garbage. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? The, most of these heavyweights now, you put them back then, they will be, they will be, they will terrorize that shit. Like you're saying, so you know, you gotta understand that the competition back then was terrible. Okay, but now. The competition now, spectacular, spectacular. I love it. I'm loving this whole year. You know, besides all the obstacles that we had to go through, you know, to, you know, you know, COVID nineteen and all that stuff, we prevailed in a way. We prevailed in a way because we got this running again. You know what I'm saying? It didn't get to the point that you know martial law. They didn't use martial law. You know, they 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 did bring military, but it wasn't tanks when they do martial law they bring in tanks and shit like that and and you get caught running around you get caught running around they'll shoot you they'll shoot you when they to give you a curfew they tell you you better not be outside 
You get caught outside, you, go, you get, they either will capture you and send you somewhere or they fucking kill you. Because remember, these are military, you know, military personnel. They're ranked higher than police officers. They ranked higher than police officers. Like I say, understand that. Like I say, National Guards. They, they use the National Guards. You know, the military is crazy here. The military is crazy. That's what people don't understand. They got different stages, different stages of military. You know what I'm saying? In the United States. They got the United States got more military stages than any planet. Look at me. Than any country in the whole entire world. That's how much ways they could do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they got money to do it that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Remember, this country is in a recession. It's in a recession. Stocks is crashing. Bitcoin is crashing. Dodge Cone is, is crashing. And there's no food shortages there's no food shortages they said it's going to be food shortages no it's not the only reason why that it's going to be food shortages for a little bit is because i don't know what happened i don't know if anybody ever seen the news that uh one of those tankers the ones that holds the containers the container tankers it got stuck it got stuck and they had a, it took them like a couple of days to take that shit out so by the time they took that thing out it they had all the boats in the back waiting to, to, to ship all that to the countries. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's there's no food shortages here. I understand that. This planet is too big for 8 billion people. It's too big for 8 billion people. If you look, listen to me. If you look at the planet from the outside and real life and space, 8 billion people is a dot. Eight billion people is a dot in the planet. That's how big that planet is. There's no way in hell there's food shortages right now. Understand that. I'm saying, but people believe everything the media says. I'm saying, why do we have food here? You, I, I could go right across the street right now and show you that that supermarket. And that shit is packed to the to the max. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you know, and even when the COVID hit, the, it did go down. The, the, the supermarket did go down. They did the readjustments and, and, and kept the store running fully packed when all that shit was happening. There's no shortages here. Understand that. Look at it by the numbers. Look at it by the numbers. Like, if you're from New York City, you drive to Philadelphia, what do you see most of the time? You see land. You don't see houses. You just see mountains. You know what I'm saying? You just... There's nobody living there. Shit is open. So when you're looking around the planet in the ball like this, all of, we're like, we're smaller than ants. Let's just look at it like that. We're smaller than ants. If you if you look at the, you know, if you look at us from all the way from outside in space and you look at the planet, you're gonna be like, eight billion people cannot eat all that food right now. Like, understand that. You cannot eat everything here. It's just too big. Like you're saying, but people don't see that. They believe what the media tells them. Like remember, you got certain plants you can eat. You could actually walk up in the grass and you could actually pull out a, a fucking piece of grass and eat it. Like understand that. There's food here. Like you're saying, so you know, it's delusional people that does that. Delusional people. That's what I call them. You know what I'm saying? Saying the only thing you gotta do is do everything by the numbers. That's how I do it with the boxing, like the, like um Alexander and Tyson Fury. Alexander seven titles, Tyson Fury four. Like you know what I'm saying? Just, just like that, chop them in the video. Okay, because they say Tyson Fury is better than Alexander. I fucking chopped them in just that one part. Fucking took them apart. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, you know, like, <laughs> so I hope that everybody's enjoying the video. You know what I'm saying? Remember, this is a regular video. So it's going to be a mix of boxing, mix of Bitcoin, mix of different things. You know what I'm saying? It's just to, you know, get your mind off of the fucking fucked up shit that's going on in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm fed up with all this shit in here.
let me tell you something. If I would have never made a promise to my mother that I that I will not move her out, I would have been moved her out. She would have been moved out of here. We would have been gone from here. <clears throat> but she told me, promise me that you you don't you will never because she knew that she was gonna get older and she was gonna she's gonna fall off. Like you know what I'm saying? So she told me, promise me, don't protect me, you know, keep the home. And, and I kept it, you know what I'm saying? We, we have this home now, you know what I'm saying? When my mother, when she was good, she, 21 years straight, we had this shit here, 21 years. That's a long time to be at just one spot, you know what I'm saying? But that's good, we did good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I used to, I used to come back and forth because I, I live a couple of blocks away. So it wasn't bad for me. So I was a come, come over here, hang out with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you don't see, like, um, well, you're not going to see, but when I turn off this video, I'm going to go in the room and hang out with her. You know what I'm saying? Give her some food, give her some juice, talk with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my mother's really good woman, man. <clears throat> Believe me when I tell you. you know, let me tell you something. When I was shooting guns, I was shooting motherfuckers when I was younger. When I was popping motherfuckers, she didn't care about that shit. I used to come in the house with a gun in my waist. She didn't say anything about that shit. You know what she'll do? She'll tell me as soon as I come in, I take the gun out, my, get him, take the gun out, cock it back, get the shell out of the fuck, boom, take out the clip, put it right on the uh, on the desk. You know what I'm saying? And, and she she acts like she don't see it. She acts like she don't see it. And she tells me, you hungry? You want to eat? Come on, let's go. I, mean, I, cook, I cook for us. You know what I'm saying? I used to get locked up in jail. She used to come to jail, bring me money, bring me clothes, sneakers, underwear, socks. And she would bring my shorty, too. She would bring my shorty, too, to the, to the visit. Every time I got in trouble. And I got in trouble a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, went upstate. 10 hours away. All the way up there. She will go all the way up there, bring me money. I don't even ask her. She does it because of the love that she felt for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Rikers Island, she was bringing me shit in Rikers Island and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying how am I going to turn my back on her and not help her now when she needs me more than anything? But you understand that? People don't see things like that because they just don't care no more. You know what I'm saying? I, but I thought that back in the days was worse. But to tell you the truth, in the present time and situation of how everything is going, and, and all the, uh, um, how you say it, tomato cans are coming out of your cans, you're coming out of your cans, and with the re the realism of what you really are, so you, that made just the whole thing, the whole criteria all messed up. Like they say, it's actually worse. It's worse than it was back then. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you know, so okay, man. We're gonna go to 147. I wanna see. I wanna see what's going on over here. Cause we already talked about Canelo. I'm saying. Uh, okay. All right, man. 147. Okay, so everybody know that um Terence Crawford is fighting Sean Porter. The fight is set. You know I'm saying. I think it's November. The fight. You know I'm saying 29th somewhere around. You know what I'm saying so, and I took Terence Crawford to demolish the shit out of fucking Porter. You know what I'm saying so, you know, we just keep it real. He's gonna outbox the fuck out of him. You know what I'm saying? So, so okay, uh, okay, look at okay, we got Terence Crawford, Virgil Ortiz, John Porter, Mikey Garcia, Michael, Jaron, David. Okay, they still got Manny Pacquiao, man. Manny Pacquiao retired. Like, what the fuck are they doing? You know, Ramos, Danny Garcia. I know. And then didn't Danny said he was going to go to 154. Said it a couple of times in the video. That's, I don't know. Okay, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Mikey Garcia. You know what would be a good fight? Mikey with Keith Thurman. Mikey with Keith Thurman. I'll take Mikey to knock Keith Thurman out, though. Mikey hits hard. Like, he hits you good, you will get hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he has a really good chance. And then he's got speed. He has, um, he has really good boxing ability. You got to fight really good to beat him. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about Mikey. 
He'll give Crawford, he'll get all of them trouble. If they fight wrong with him, he's gonna he's gonna end up beating the shit out of them. You know I'm saying so, you know, he's he's very dangerous. So he's fighting, he's coming up. It's, it's a fight coming up with him. Uh a state active fight. I'm saying so, you know. We got um we got we got one forty seven pretty good there, man. It's pretty stacked. You know I'm saying you got a bunch of fighters, you know, one forty. Um does anybody know Josh Taylor's four time champion there? I said, you see, it's showing Javante Davis still with, with the regular title. They didn't update that. It's supposed to be empty. There's not supposed to be no title there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. And then, um, oh, check it out. 135. I already see some names here. Check it out, right? Um, WBC. Under the WBC, we're going to see what's going on here. Oh, shit. They got, hold on. Wait a minute. They got Jojo Diaz in, in here. Okay, I'm not gonna even go there with that. Okay, okay. Um, Lamanchenko is ranked number one. So, so, I, I don't know if it's gonna be mandatory for Lopez because Lopez has the franchise title there. So I don't know if like if you get to number one rank, you could you could do a mandatory with the franchise title. I'm gonna have to look that up. So I'm not gonna answer that. I'm saying so. My question here is why he's not. I understand he's fighting Komen. I understand he's fighting Komei. You know what I'm saying? Why he didn't go after Devin Haney? Devin Haney didn't have nobody to fight with. You know, that got me puzzled. If anybody understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was like, nigga, you could have got your title already. You could have been had his title. Then going the other route. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, you know? Remember, he's supposed to be one of the best fighters in the world. He didn't have to fight Komei. He could have fought Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Rank number two, Ryan Garcia. George Linares. George Linares needs to retire. Okay, so let's see, let's see who could beat George Linares. Um, I give Ryan a chance. Lama already chopped him. Jojo Diaz and Linares. I take Jojo Diaz in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um, Devin Haney, pff, you know already, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Tafima Lopez. <laughs> Tafima Lopez will stop him. He will actually stop him in that fight. You know what I'm So remember, Lamanchenko's fighting Komei. Lamanchenko better not take Komei lightly. He better knock him out. That's the only way he's winning that fight. Because if he leaves Komei sitting around throwing punches at him and he catches him, he's going to hurt him. You know, Komei is a knockout artist. It's a knockout artist. You know what I'm saying? People don't say that, but he is. Look, look. We're going to see his record. We're gonna see his record. Look, I'm gonna show y'all. He's a knockout artist. They're gonna be like, oh shit. Okay, let's see this name before. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I meant to that copy and paste. Let's <laughs> say you get shit done more faster. <laughs> We're gonna say, okay. Okay, let's, we're going to see right now. We're going to see his record. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he's 33 and 27 knockouts. Now, listen to that. 30 fights with 27 knockouts. You know what I'm saying? Lamanchenko fuck around and sleep on him. He's going to put him on the, He's going to put him to sleep. Gourmet is going to put him to sleep. I can't really believe him. Lama's small. Lama is small. He's a, that's already a disadvantage right there. Gourmet punches hard. He punches harder than Lopez. Believe it or not. You know I'm saying when he fought Lopez, he hit Lopez with a jab and broke his face. He cut his face with the jab. Lopez said it in the video. He's like, "Yo, he punched me really hard." Like you know what I'm saying? Hits hard. You know what I'm saying so you know, and he fights okay. Fights pretty good. You know what I'm saying so he has a good chance of beating Lama because of that power. You know he could hit him anywhere in the head. Hit him here, here, back here. You know, rabbit punch. He's gonna feel everything. You know what I'm saying so. His best bet is to stop Gomez, like like Lop Not exactly like Lop like Lopez did, because I don't believe he could do it unless he shows me. Like you know what I'm saying. You know, it's gonna be later on. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna try to get Gomez tired, and then he's gonna go after him. He's gonna do the same thing what he did with Lopez. You know what I'm saying, and that's when he's gonna put himself in danger.
like you know what I'm saying? So you know, so so you know, like shit is crazy, right? How all this shit break down? Okay, so all right, we're gonna get out of here now. We're gonna go back into the thing. Okay, so all right. Okay, we got we got uh, Tafima Lopez, Javante Davis, Rolando Romero. If any of know, Rolando Romero is fighting Javante Davis. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, George Caboose, of course, Tafima Lopez. Isaac Cruz. I don't know who he's fighting. Okay, let's get check the other belt. Uh, Lamanchenko, is, Lamanchenko is ranked in two different... Um, rank number one for the WBO and rank number one for the WBC. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit's crazy, right? Okay, we're done here. Fucking reading these names. I'm fucking high as fuck. That weed was good. That weed was. Plus, I'm really tired, too. I've been up since four in the morning. Been up since four o'clock in the morning. And I'm still up. And I'm keeping an eye on my mother. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she's good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure she's got her fluids. Make sure, you know, she's alert. You know, she could, she could, she could um, understand me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me, people. If you have a good mother, you need to be there for her. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Like, if, you don't need to have money. Just be there for her. See? Remember, buying a gift is just buying a gift. But spending time with them it's worth more than buying a gift. You know what I'm saying? Because you get it physically by staying with them and you get it in memory. You get it in memory too. You know what I'm saying? So if you like the video, put a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, put a thumbs down. You know what I'm saying? Um, the people that put the video thumbs down, thank you anyway. You still help my channel anyway. You watch the video and you put a thumbs down. Thank you. I appreciate it. So. Thumbs up, thumbs down, don't forget to subscribe.